National Development Minister Desmond Lee says that countries must stick to long-term planning and prepare for more crises like the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, he points out that while other countries tend to plan within the electoral cycle to satisfy voters, Singapore has policies to ensure the government looks beyond. Mr Lee was speaking to global decision makers attending the annual St Gallen Symposium in Switzerland. We have legislation that requires us to plan for our city's land use with a 50-year horizon. Right. 50-year horizon. And in the midst of COVID, we had to begin that process to galvanise not just government agencies, but corporates, individuals, communities, to talk about the future of Singapore and what it means in terms of the way we use that precious land that we have and the very limited resources that we have. But in doing that, it takes political will mm -hmm. and commitment to see through the conversations needed in order to put that plan together. Mr Lee added that infrastructural planning is especially crucial for small countries like Singapore, and that's because any decision made in the current generation could mean less resources are available for the next. Balancing the needs of today's generation and tomorrow's generation and telling them that, yes, we have to control eligibility for certain facilities and access to, to housing because we need to keep some land for people not yet born, who can't vote, who can't speak up, keeping optionalities for them. Mm. I met one of my predecessors uh, my, in, my, in my department, and he said, you know, when we cleared this land, we were tempted to just build housing because there was need, but we bit the bullet, we kept it vacant for your generation, 